Hey guys, welcome to day 15. Yeah, day 15. Um, today I just wanted to have like a stream of consciousness video. Um, Cause I feel like just talking and seeing what comes out today. I don't feel like doing the whole spiel where I'm like, this is what I ate. This is blah, 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 blah. I just want to break out of that routine for at least one day um, and just start talking. So one thing I kind of posted on Facebook maybe a few days ago was regarding the videos I've been making and these kind of videos are a lot different than the ones I was making before because uh, these are just like literally authentic videos like whatever is on my mind or whatever I'm going through at the time I'm filming I'm literally putting it out there and what I'm seeing um, as far as responses go is like a couple um, similar responses slash comments that are just noticeable enough to become a pattern and I wanted to address them one that I get a lot is you shouldn't be so hard on yourself. And I don't agree with that at all. Um, I think the reason people are coming up to that conclusion is because I share a lot of things I'm going through emotionally. And I'm somebody that um, tries as hard as possible to be present with emotions and be... Um, fully immersed in the emotion and feel it and not run away from it. And I think sometimes that can be really intimidating for people because the world right now, it's it's really set up to not feel. Um, it's the emotional dark age. Um, people aren't really equipped or even know how to react when they're watching people express their emotions. Sometimes they'll just either um, be oblivious to it. They'll just say that you're, oh, you're just being dramatic, or in my case, you're just being too hard on yourself because they're not used to actually going through and being present with themselves and feeling how they're feeling. They'd rather either suppress it or cope their way out of it or distract themselves or whatever. And yeah, I don't think I'm doing anything that's being too hard on myself. I don't think I'm being self-abusive in any way. In fact, I think it's completely the opposite um, because when you're with your emotions presently, um, you're actually being there for yourself. You're not running away from yourself. You know what I mean? And I think that's such a loving thing to do, even though sometimes it can be a little scary because it's like you're walking into a storm sometimes. <laughs> but I think that's the best thing you possibly can do for yourself because when you go through the emotion, you're literally completing the emotional cycle. It's it's not going to keep you stuck in it forever. Whereas if you run away from your emotions or distract yourself or cope your way out of it, that's when it kind of gets its grips and hooks into you and it gets even harder and harder and harder to face it. And if you just deal with things as they show up in the moment, I feel like that's just the easiest way to stay in the flow of life. You know what I mean? Something isn't holding you back or keeping you from doing the things that you want to do anymore. And I think it's just such an important thing to master. And I'm still working on it for sure. I'm not, you know, an expert or perfect at it by any means, but I'm open to the idea of doing a lot more of that in my life. And I want to show people that it's okay to do as well. And for it to not be so, you know, uncommon or unfamiliar, for it to be something that's just normal to talk about. Or if you see someone going through something how to act around them or to know that it's normal and it's okay and um, they're just doing what comes natural to them which is to feel and I think that's something that's beautiful I think it's something that we're not taught enough about or shown enough and I think that's beginning to change now but I don't know I just really wanted to throw that out there and then another one I think well basically everything just kind of stemmed from that particular comment um, I've gotten other ones where it's like you, what was that? I can't even remember anymore. You overwhelm yourself too much by dealing with your emotions. But I guess that kind of goes along the same path where it's just, I don't think you can be, I don't think there's a such thing as being too emotional, number one, or too dramatic or too consumed because that's exactly what you want to do. It's when you do the opposite that you kind of get consumed in the shadow side of it where you're just running from your emotions and then they're constantly haunting you where if you face them head on you're dealing with the um, issue or the pain right away that's trying to call your attention and you can learn from it right then and there as opposed to trying to run from it where who knows what kind of damage it can do down the road when it's all bottled up inside of you so for me it's just been such a liberating process to you know deal with it as it shows up 
Um, another thing, I was telling you guys yesterday, I gotta reposition myself because my feet are falling asleep. <laughs> um, so I was telling you about this book I was reading yesterday by Byron Katie, and it's like, ooh, I dropped my phone. Um, it's called Your Inner Awakening, and it's um, her process called The Work. And oh my god, if you guys haven't heard about this, sometimes Teal Swan mentions this in her videos. But it's this process where you ask yourself four questions, basically, whenever something painful shows up in your um, thoughts or any kind of stress or stressful concepts that you're thinking. And basically, you're just kind of picking apart the different um, pieces of the thoughts that you're thinking and you're investigating them and spending time with them and really trying to understand them and then finding a way to turn it around after you've experienced it into something that you'd prefer to feel or something you'd prefer to believe or something you'd prefer to do um, and put you into basically put you onto the right track after that so it's a good way to kind of catch yourself as these things are coming up um, but you're not just catching yourself and trying to change your thoughts or change how you feel because you're still fully expressing those emotions in the process oh my god this light is going to be the end of me <laughs> um and you are um, basically spending time with those thoughts and feelings. So that way, like I mentioned before, you're not getting stuck in them, but you're also providing a solution for yourself. And it's all coming from your own mind. And I think that's super freaking awesome. <laughs> um, what else can we talk about? Um, tomorrow, I'm, I'm actually really excited. I'm going to be meeting my friend Rita, if you guys don't know Rita. Um, she's going to be meeting me at Ashker's Juice Bar in downtown Buffalo tomorrow. I really can't wait to do that. I wonder if she'll want to be in the vlog. Uh, we'll find out if she's going to be or not because, um, she's been making a lot of awesome changes I've been noticing and observing with her health and wellness. And I would love to get like her take on her journey and maybe be able to share that with you guys. So maybe we'll be able to, I don't know. Um, I ordered a really cool um, green powder coming in the mail that I can't wait to get. I had it before, but um, one of my friends told me that it's been reformulated and tastes a little bit better. I got this a few years ago when I first heard about it, and I wasn't crazy about it. I loved how it made me feel, but I just thought the taste was like not good. <laughs> but apparently it's better. It's called um, Wild Force. I think it's just called Wild Forest by Marcus Rothkranz. And it's just this awesome blend of wild crafted, either wild um, crafted or organic herbs and greens. And he's all about like finding natural wild foods and weeds that grow outside. And I just think that's so great. He's taught me how to like forage for food outside. Um, especially when I was living in Oregon, there was like such a large variety of stuff. You can just literally go outside to your park or go in your yard or whatever and just like pick for free which I love. And he uses a lot of those kinds of things in his products. And to make a long story short, wild foods are so much more nutritious and beneficial than even organic foods are. Because wild food literally has to survive on its own. Wild food isn't something that's taken care of. Um, wild food doesn't know when it's going to get its next water. Wild food doesn't have something to help prevent pests or um, insects or whatever. Um, wild food doesn't always get the best sunlight because it's not farmed. So organic foods can get kind of, you know, primmed and adjusted to a schedule. So it's not really forced to have to survive essentially. But when wild foods are forced to be in the wild and survive through all the natural elements, a lot of the compounds within the plant become stronger. Um, for example, like if there's a wild, um, hot pepper or something, you know what I mean? Growing on its own, when it's being starved of water or certain things, like when that plant can become strong again and regain its strength, it's such a stronger plant in general because of it. So like for the example of a hot pepper, the, um, com chemical, not chemical, but basically the, the stuff that's in the plant becomes so much more stronger that you're going to have a hotter pepper. So think of that in terms of like vitamins and minerals and nutrients. And then on top of that, a lot of wild plants like dandelions or your common garden weeds have like these extremely long root systems that go into the ground. And what they're doing is they're able to pick up um, minerals and nutrients from the soil and the water that are way down underneath. And those are the kinds of nutrients they're bringing up into the plant. 
and it's beautiful because they're just like literally growing out there easily um, and widely available for free but we pay people to spray chemicals or we just try to get rid of them or we mow them with the lawnmower or whatever when they're actually some of nature's best healers so wild foods I'm all about it I think it's so great um, I probably could have explained that better if I thought it out more, but you get the idea. Um, yeah, so today was just kind of what's on my mind kind of a day. Um, we're going to pick back up tomorrow with probably like a typical vlog. Um, so I'll be going downtown and meeting Rita and things like that. So I'll have like maybe some nature footage to show you. Maybe not nature, but like scenery. It's supposed to rain, so we'll see how it goes, but... That should be fun, and until then, I will talk to you guys later. Hope you have a good day or night, and thank you for being on this journey with me. Bye.